Hi friends, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Wendy Irene and today I'm doing a reading for Taurus. So if you have Taurus in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, or if there's a Taurus in your life that you're hoping to gain a greater understanding of what may be going on with them energetically, I just ask that you do your best to open your heart space and really be willing to listen to your own intuition, what comes up within you more than anything else, because that is your greatest guide and teacher. Thank you so much before we get started here for all the likes, the shares, the comments, subscribing and being a part of this beautiful community. It makes me so happy to do these readings and that wouldn't be possible if you weren't here with me and I truly appreciate you. Okay, let's do a few more shuffles, Taurus. You might want to take a few deep breaths with loud exhales to clear your energy. And it just feels so good to do that. I like to just let my neck and shoulders relax when I take those deep breaths. What are the highest messages for Taurus? Okay, one more shuffle. I'm a Taurus sun sign myself, so I really enjoy seeing what comes out for us. Okay, we have the Four of Wands. Ooh, that's fun. And then we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords or the Nine of Air. Nine of Michael in this deck. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Love that. And then the Chariot. Oh, I love the Chariot. Okay. Taurus, let's get started. Let's go straight to the center of the reading, the Nine of Swords first. This is a card to remind us that our worry is unnecessary, that we really need to focus our thoughts on like what it is we do want to create. And that's a theme that keeps coming up in the readings over and over and over again. Just remind yourself that worry is praying for what you don't want and you want to spend your energy praying for what you do want, okay? Because think of it like your thoughts like magnets. So if you're worrying, you're it's like you're asking for what you don't want so as best you can and it's not that any of us have this perfectly conquered remind yourself that you don't want to put your energy into what you do want you want to put your energy in or you don't want to put your energy into what you don't want to happen you want to put your energy into what you do want to happen what you do want to create so focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire and then also similarly with energy and thoughts like release any feelings that are guilt Release any feelings that are worry. Release any feelings that are regret. Everything happens for a reason, okay? Your soul is here to grow. So some of the stuff you may have regrets about, like it was part of making you who you are. So try as best you can to release that. Okay, so let's back to the top of the reading, the four of wands. It's time for celebration. So, um, and it's almost graduation or is graduation for a lot of people. So some of you may be parents with children graduating congratulations um but it's also a card that can be like a wedding or a new baby or a new house or something that feels really celebratory to you it's also a card that's like it feels like these beautiful abundant rewards come in for you and it's because of your hard work and it doesn't necessarily mean hard physical work it can also mean hard work on you Every day deciding, okay, who do I want to be? How am I going to take steps to be that person? Like waking up and asking yourself, who is the person I do want to be? You know, every day letting it guide you, asking your guides, please guide me today. All of that energetic work. So you're also releasing yourself from situations that are not the right ones for you. So you're, it's almost like you're having this burden lift off your shoulders. There's celebration and there's abundant rewards here. The Ten of Wands is the energy of your workload being really heavy. So maybe some of you really physically are working too hard or working at a job too hard. Or you're trying too hard to make other people happy at work or um, just in general in life, trying too hard to make other people happy and it feels like a heavy load. This four of wands is here because it, it wants you to release those burdens. It wants you to enjoy life more. Um, 
take more time off, take more time to relax, take more time to like do the things that make life worth living here. And you can ask others for help to help you with the load that you carry or whatever you're responsible for. Ask others for help with that too, so that you can have this time to really enjoy life. Get out in the sun, um, you know, get your energy in such a great place where you're feeling happy because then you just keep attracting more great things, more abundant rewards. The Four of Cups is like this card that's asking you to look for the magic in life. Where can you see the magic in life? You know, even if it's like the way that a flower blooms or um, certain little synchronicities that have happened in your life that feel really magical, seek out those little moments of magic and be aware of your own emotions too. With that nine of swords and the four of cups, remember we were saying about releasing worry, releasing regret, releasing guilt. Be aware of your emotions so that so that you can improve the signal that you are sending out to the universe here. The page of pentacles is like this beautiful opportunity gets offered to you, Taurus. Um, it can be it can have to do with like educating yourself with something new because <clears throat> pages can be like new beginning it. Uh, not beginning, but like, uh, say you're learning a new thing. Like, for example, I've been learning sourdough. Um, Paige is like kind of that beginner energy. So, uh, or like, I also have chickens now for the first time. So I'm learning about chickens. It's kind of like that. It's like you're learning something new, but I feel like it's something that you're passionate about. So it's like you're pursuing this education because you want to, or for some of you, like some opportunity actually comes to you. So you're going to be getting to work in something here, but it's something that you want to learn or something that you want to do. The Two of Cups is really, I'm feeling so much like not only is it a love card, really meeting your soulmate and um, working with your soulmate, it's also you really connecting with your own soul. Like you and your soul really coming together and acting as one here. So that creates something wonderful. It's also a card to like not give up on those you love. You know, like unless it's like in a situation that's not healthy for you, but like it's like this card of like you really being there for the people that you love. The chariot is fast moving energy. It's the universe guiding you. So that energy of waking up and saying, universe, please show me the way, please guide the way. You have this advancement. So like we were saying with the Page of Pentacles, like there's this new opportunity. It's also this movement forward in life, this movement forward in some area of your life, whether it's work or whether it's just something new that you're doing, but you're being guided by the universe, by God. It's, it's a divine act that's happening here that's moving you forward. You have a lot of determination and you have a lot of self-control. And because of that, it brings beautiful success for you, Taurus. Okay, so let's pull a card from the flower therapy deck. What is the highest messages for Taurus today? What is the highest messages for Taurus? What is the highest message for Taurus? Okay, we have the wise soul. Remember when I said the two of cups, really that feeling of you and your soul being as one, acting as one, that's what I'm feeling again. It's like you're really lining up with your soul. So it says your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you. And that kind of reminds me too of the two of cups as well. It's like being there for those you love. You have this beautiful wisdom within you, Taurus. Um, that's meant to be shared and you're allowing it to come through your soul, through you. I hope you got some messages that were helpful to you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and light.